Hi, this is PD at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com, and this is tutorial 221, I believe. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and continue exploring what we can do with the basic particle system in Unity. Uh, so with that said, let's just go ahead and open up Unity. I've added two little, uh, little mannequins to my scene just to practice, well, so I can uh, have a better visualization of uh, how the particle systems interact with my characters. And the systems I want to make today are the buff system and the debuff system, or the particle systems. So I'm just going to go ahead and create other particle system. It drops to my scene. I'm going to go ahead and open up my little targeting dummies here. I'll just drop uh, the first one on the muscular guy and reset everything. And I'm just going to rename it buff. And then I'm going to come over to my ellipsoid particle emitter. And the basic uh, the concept that I have is I want this basically ring of uh, icons to swing around my character and move upwards. Or at least move upwards and have uh, like a, a swing that at the end kind of like a little bit of an explosion where it just goes everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to shrink my Y size down to... I'm going to start off with a quarter. And world velocity, since I want it moving up, I'm actually going to use the world velocity and make it move one in the world velocity. Uh, so there it goes. So I've got it moving in the right direction. Uh, if I hit one shot, which is actually what I want, you'll notice it's uh, one ring. Uh, but I want to add some spin to this. And I actually want to increase the size of the particles too. Yeah, because I want them to be kind of cloudy, wispy. I'm going to be switching the material on these. Uh, so let's go ahead and let me see how long do I want them to last. I'm going to leave them at three seconds for now. I want fewer particles because uh, I wanted to have a system where I can start off with uh, like a base level spell. So maybe like a, a level one spell only has 30 particles. And as you cast higher and more powerful spells, you can add more particles to kind of represent a, it's a little more dramatic or magical. Uh, so let's keep going down. I'm actually going to switch my ellipsoid to be about, oh, let's actually do 10%. Now I'm not going to bother with the colors, uh, but on the world rotation axis, I'm going to increase this to uh, a fairly large number. So as it reaches basically the top or the end of its animation cycle, it'll kind of uh, have a really big spin and give that sort of like explosion look. Uh, I'm going to make it grow just a little bit, maybe 10%. And I think that's pretty much all I want to do there. I'm going to come back up to my ellipsoid particle emitter. And I want to open up random velocity. And on the X, I'm going to give it a 10% random velocity. Uh, let's just do 10% on all of them. There we go. Now the effect itself looks kind of wild, uh, but I find it always looks different in game. So I want it to go up a little bit higher before it does the explosion. So I can either tell it to wait longer. Uh, let me just take a look here. Uh, let's add a two to that. Let's actually bring them all up to two. I'm going to turn on a random rotation, give it an angular velocity of, oh, I don't know, 100, really make them spin. And let me see what else do we have here. I don't want to dampen them, although you might want to. If we take a look at it now, it just doesn't really move up that much. So I'm going to leave that at 1. So we'll come up to the top here. Now let's go ahead and actually add a different material to this. So I'm going to come down uh, to my particle renderer. I'm going to turn off cast shadows, receive shadows. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing I want to touch in here except for the actual materials. Now you see that we're just still using the default particle material and you may want to make your own so you can come over to your project window just right click create. Uh, let's do a material. Now, as far as the shader goes, uh, you'll want to use one of the particle ones, and I like the additive one. If we took a look, we'll expand it. Uh, it makes it like really bright in your scene. Now, I really don't have any 
uh, made already pre-made uh, textures for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into the Proto Pack, and we'll see. Ah, Pro Games has some, and they already have some made. So I'm just actually going to grab one of these numbers. Uh, let's grab. Uh, I don't know. Let's grab a nine. Well, the zero sounds cool. So I'm just going to throw that in, and then I'll just shrink that back up. Uh, select my system again, make sure I'm at the bottom, and I'm just going to drag this new material on, and you really should name it. I'll just name it Test Mat. And if we take a look here, now when it starts up, you can actually see the materials. Now ideally I'd like to be able to have enough textures pre-made that I could have uh, basically one for each stat. So if we open up the character panel, you know, like Mike could be like a fist or something like that. You know, constitution, I don't know, it could be, you know, a heart or something like that. And, and likewise, as you go down, uh, basically just to show when characters are getting buffed and debuffed. Now, I think I'm actually going to move it up a little bit more before it spins out. Uh, they're just small adjustments here and there. Uh, another thing I want to do is actually play around with the color a bit. So I'm just going to open up my color picker. And for buffs, I think my generic buffs are just going to be green. So I'm just going to start off with green. I'll make it, actually I've got a color already set here that has an opacity. Uh, yeah, we'll just take these. I'm actually, yeah, we'll just take these. And what I'm going to do is actually lower the opacity to 10% on both of these. And then I'll take this one and I'll set it to the same, same here. And my middle one I want fairly bright. I want to keep it in the same color though. And I'll just reduce its opacity to probably maybe a little higher, maybe like 90%. And let's go take a look at that in game. Uh, so that's pretty good. And like I said, once I move it up a little bit higher, I can either just adjust the length that it lives for. Uh, let's make it four. Actually, that's not going to do it. I'm going to keep it at three. Uh, what we want to adjust is the world velocity, how fast it goes up. So that's a bit better. Maybe even a two might be good here. Yeah, I like two. Uh, but anyway, you can just go through, and we've already gone through what each of these options do. So just go ahead and keep tweaking around with them, get the desired effect you want. Uh, now let's do the debuff. What I'm actually going to do is take my buff, and I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to drag it to the other model. I'll open it up. I'm going to rename it to debuff. And of course, I'll reset its position. I'm just going to reset everything. And I'm actually going to move it up three on the Y. And all I really have to do now is just come into my world velocity and hmm, I thought I had it at three over here. Ah, I was doing the edits in. Um, well, the game was running, so sometimes options don't save. Majority of the times, your options won't save, so be careful of that. And I'll set this one to two. Oops, sorry, this one I want to actually move downward on my character, so it'll be a negative two. And just let me go and take a look in game. So I've got one guy buffing, one guy debuffing. I may actually lower that just a bit more. Uh, yeah, we'll go two. Two is the size of my actual character, so that'll put it right at the top. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's change the color though. For this one here, I'm going to go with the red. And. Well, let's select 
these again and like before I'm going to take a really bright red for the center uh, we'll jack up its opacity uh, let's go ahead and take a look you should be able to see a little bit better now I may want to slow that down a little bit too it does seem a little fast uh, let's see what the buff looks like with higher particles. Let's say, I don't know, your top level spell is 100. That does look like I, mean, I am going to want to slow down the rotation part. Uh, let me just keep tweaking here. I'll do a few more tweaks on camera. I'm going to go back down to 30. And I'm going to drop this to 25. Now, I, I just keep tweaking the one, and when I'm done, I'll just, I'll just copy my buff back over to my debuff, and, you know, just basically all I'm changing is the colors and the direction. Yeah, I think I like that better. Maybe not quite so high. So, change my world velocity to 1.5. We'll start it up again. Yeah, I like that better. And of course, here's a portal we created in our last tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some different materials. Uh, we've showed you how to make a material for it. I'm actually going to get rid of the test material. I'm going to take my buff, since that's the one I've been tweaking and I'm just actually going to use one of the fro game uh, particles that they have I don't know what's what's a good buff one we have some stars here uh, let's take a leaf and I'll just drop that in and I'll copy it again I'll drag it over to the fat guy I'm going to erase my old debuff rename buff to debuff reset its transform uh, come down here and change its material to something different uh, there's actually a couple here I kinda like I'm just gonna take this one here and we'll just drag drop it in let's start it up and go take a look in game and I forgot to change its colors Actually, I like the heart one. I'm going to see the heart one. So it's kind of like a health debuff. And I almost dragged the, it over to the wrong one. I'm just going to close down the material. Just so I don't screw up the materials that are already pre, predefined for me. And I think that's about it. Uh, just the colors, I said. And I'll do like I did before. Um... And a bright one that will set to 90. These I'm actually going to adjust back down to 10. And I kind of like the way that looks there. So I'm actually going to change my buff one. Uh, make sure these are 10, 10. Yep, same thing. Anyway, there you have it. A couple more just basic uh, particle systems done with no scripting and just using the basic options of our particle animator system. I think probably about now you should pretty much have the hang of how to play around with the particle systems, at least the the ones that are given to you by default. Uh, so the next time we'll come back, we'll take a look at a, a few more advanced ways to do it. Maybe we'll look at sprite animations next. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.